What's going on YouTube? It's Original Dobo back again with another video. This is a, a twofer, one, two in one day, sweet. So what we have here is the Spigen Steinhall Flex screen protector. It is a plastic screen protector for the Galaxy Note 7. So yeah, it's um, just your basic plastic screen protector. Um, there's just really no point anymore in, in all the research I've done, and I've never really had a curved dual edge, curved phone like this before. But looking at all the videos for the uh, Galaxy S7 uh, Edge, I didn't want to deal with all the bullshit with the tempered glass, and I just figured, you know, I for the longest time I've always used like these plastic oleophobic coated screen protectors. Yes, they probably scratch pretty easy, but again, if you treat the screen protector like you would if it was your regular glass, probably not gonna get too many scratches. And you know what? It's still better than it being the actual glass. So we're gonna go ahead and install this, check it out, see if it's worth um, the eight or nine bucks that they're selling it for on Amazon. And then I'll put a link in the description um, for this specific screen protector if you wanna check it out for yourself at the uh, end of the video. So let's jump right into it. All right guys, so this is sort of the finished product of that screen protector. Let me wipe it down so you can see what it exactly looks like. It is very smudge prone. Um, it's, it's, I'm gonna say this, let me start off by saying it's not a bad protector. It is somewhat easy to apply if you take your time. Um, I mean, I don't know, I guess it works. I was sort of rushing and I, I gouged it at the bottom and I don't have the home button lined up, but I mean, overall, I don't know if you guys can see this here, but I mean, let me bring it in closer, show you what I mean. So down here at the bottom, I, I sort of gouged it and yeah, it's sort of sitting up over the home button. So if I press the home button, I mean, I'm sure it'll lift eventually. But the main areas that matter, which are the sides, seem to be pretty much down. I mean, you've got to work these bubbles out, but overall it seems down. I'm gonna go ahead and pop it in a case and see how that fits. So I got here the uh, Unicorn Beetle. We're just gonna go ahead and pop it in. We'll go uh, volume rocker side first. And yeah, okay, so, so this is actually nice. This screen protector, and I'm sure it'll work with the Zags, um, works well with this case. I mean, you can see it doesn't come up all the way over and everything is responsive and let's give it a good go and fingerprint sensor still working even though i totally butchered that area there you just got to be careful squeegeeing it squeegee it with the blue on and if you take your time you're not going to get any air bubbles but this unicorn beetle case is 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 perfect i don't see anything peeling up and i think we'll be in good shape because it just doesn't come up over the lip of the glass but it comes here comes here uh, enough of room, enough of room, enough of room is good. So I, I think we're going to be okay. And I, like I said, if this one fails, I do have a zag that I'm going to try out and see how that works. But we'll give this a go for a couple of days and see how that works. But I mean, overall, it seems responsive. Let's see if the S Pen works with this. So yeah, okay, so the S Pen works with it, no problems, good. Yeah, all right, so that is the Spigen Stenhall Flex case. Again, it's, uh, oh, that sucks. Okay, so, <laughs> yeah, all right, well, I just noticed that. So uh, this case is good if, for you guys that don't like using the S Pen. You use the S Pen, you're gonna be able to see right in in there. Flex case, it's good for those who are just gonna use it without the S Pen. Use the S Pen, you're probably gonna fuck it up, but um, we'll try the Zag out in a little while and see if that's any better, but I'm tired. <laughs> I don't wanna take this back off, but that's it. We'll talk to you later.